what does the typical American millionaire look like? I'm here today to break down a few stats and some of these insights may surprise you. Hi guys, I'm Katie Mild. Welcome to this week's Money Minute. So today I wanted to dive into the profile of the typical American millionaire. What do they look like? Where do they live? And what kind of industries do they work in to attain the wealth that they have? Some of these stats may surprise you, and I hope that some of them inspire you as you really realize wealth can be truly attained by anyone. So let's dive right in. The total number of millionaires in America right now is just over 20 million. Now, 2.2 million of those 20 million were just added between 2019 and today. Now, that includes going through an economic recession and a global pandemic. So think about that. Many American households continue to thrive and continue to stay the course and do well and attain millionaire status even through this tumultuous time. The average age of a U.S. millionaire is 62 years old, and about 1% of millionaires in the U.S. are under 35 years old. Now, let's stop here for a minute and talk about this stat. You know, we see the Mark Zuckerbergs of the world. We see these young, bright sports stars, 19, 20 years old, signing these multi-million dollar contracts. And we think, gosh, it seems like it's more out there than it actually is. All of those people, that makes up just 1%. Remember, the majority of people who become millionaires and keep their wealth, keep millionaire status in our country, it takes more time. They have more runway to save, to pay off debt, to continually invest so that their empire grows. Now, the boomer generation in America has been the wealthiest in our history. As I talked about on a recent video, the great wealth transfer in our country is well underway, where boomers are retiring, they're aging, unfortunately they're passing away, and they're passing their assets to their Gen X and millennial children. That being said, many of the wealthy millennials who are wealthy now, they didn't need their parents' money to be considered rich. They took the right jobs, they made smart decisions, and they achieved a level of success completely on their own. Also, by 2030, millennials are expected to control five times as much wealth as they are now. So over the next decade, 10 to 15 years, we're going to see a huge shift in generational control of our country's assets and of our top wealth. Now, while many millionaires work in areas such as business, finance, investment, banking, some of those careers that you think, well, obviously, those lend to a lot of money, many others had very typical jobs. Engineers, lawyers, teachers, and customer service ranked among the top roles and the top industries where millionaires work during their careers. So it goes to show as well, regardless of your career, it does not necessarily matter what your career is. It doesn't even necessarily matter how much you make. What does matter is how much you ultimately keep and how often and consistently you exercise discipline so you can make your money optimally work for you. Now, in terms of geography, most millionaires today are clustered in California, New York State, particularly New York City, and Traverse City, Michigan. Random, and who knew? The top ways that millionaires earn their fortunes and also keep them and grow them is real estate. It's somewhere in the 90 percentile. 90% of wealth that millionaires have is through real estate holdings, but we cannot underestimate 401ks and retirement accounts. Those also played a significant role in the ability for the average American to save and grow something. Finally, 80% of today's millionaires in America are first generation, which means that they didn't inherit a cent. Okay. This statistic should not only serve as a wake-up call, but it should also be incredibly inspiring because this should show this goal is truly available to everyone, regardless of where you grow up, regardless of what you do. If you set up a plan, if you practice discipline, if you set the focus, you can be a millionaire in your lifetime. It is attainable. So those are just a few of today's stats. So I'd love to hear from you. If you like the content I'm putting out, ring the bell below to subscribe and tell me in the comments below. Did any of these stats resonate with you? Do any of them ring true to you? Tell me your thoughts below. And until next time, have a great weekend. We'll talk later.